it is now time for our final elimination battle. Hello, folks, and welcome back to some more Fate Extra. On our last episode, we clashed with Gawain for a second time, and this time, or that time, whatever time, we managed to get past him and retrieve our last cipher key. It was a long road to get here, but here we are. Let us continue, henceforth. You're facing the final curtain, the final elimination battle. How do you feel, master? My answer is obvious. Why even bother asking? I'm here because I've accumulated victories and crushed dreams. Because of the cost to others, I can't even imagine failure. Leo, or myself, the one whose wish the Holy Grail grants will be chosen today. Oh yes. There was a certain young master who entered this tournament and has grown significantly. At first, this master appeared to be a sacrificial lamb, but instead fought on those wobbly legs. I may be an agent of the system, but your fight rouses my interest. Is your case a happy accident or a genuine miracle in hundreds, thousands of years of masters? How perverse for this AI to be based on a clergyman. Now go, show me the true strength of your determination and desire. I'll wait on the first floor. Finished, Father Kotamine departs. The illumination battle is here. I'm about to face my strongest opponent yet. I'll make some final preparations. That means getting elfated the commissionary and sorting out information in my room. Also, this was a file that I had to quickly reload on, because had I not done so, we would have missed out on that Rani and Leo event on our last episode. So, I actually have to respend some skill points. Not like it's a biggie, because we would have spent the six regardless. It's just a wee bit of a seamless edit, okay? As me all sneaky pinky. And now you know the secret. See, we're back to see defense. There we go. I think we also missed out on one other thing on our previous episode. I'm gonna assume it might have been an Nephilim. I didn't like explored the dungeon in full detail because I was more interested. I, I, I guess is the lack of better term as of present. It's just for the final elimination battle, okay? I don't think we would have needed it anywho. No, we don't need anything else from you at the moment, Alkel. Heck, this might even be our last time. Who knows? Right. So, let us reorganize our information now. And then, it'll be time for our last bout. Or will it not be the last bout? Let us find out, shall we? Organize your information. Let's go. The day has finally arrived. The day of the final battle. The way to the Holy Grail will open once this last fight is over. It's down to Leo and me, whose wish will be granted. I have no intention of falling now, but today is the day where our fates will be decided. Before the elimination battle begins, I should go through all of the information I've accumulated. First off, the name of Leo's servant. I'd better make sure I have his name right before I do anything else. Not gonna lie here, I would love to see Mordred from Fate Apocrypha in a video game. Like, I, I mean, one could argue, Fate Grand Order, sure, but that game's a grinding simulator, and I would love to just see, like, either, I don't know, another Fate spin-off fighting game of four, or maybe just one similar to Extra. I don't know, I just would love to see the Apocrypha characters in that type of set. Heck! Now that I think about it on second thought, the Extella setting would have been perfect. Not like them on the moon, of course, but the way the game functioned would have been perfect for Apocrypha. Ah. <laughs> this has got me a bit sad now. <laughs> oh well. Let's continue. The servant in burnished white armor, his name was given as Gawain. A knight of great loyalty linked to the legend of the round table who guards Lael with tireless vigilance. I remember the first time we crossed swords in the arena. As per his story, his strength is legendary. Wielding a sword that shines like the sun, 
he barred my way with unshakable resolve. The name of his sword is... The Resurrected Sword of Victory. Right, also called Galatine, it is the sister sword of Excalibur and a weapon of great power when used by Gawain. At first, there was no way I could meet the stroke of the sword infused with the sun's heat. Now the attribute that made Gawain one of the mightiest of knights was his unique constitution. When the sun was in the sky, all of his abilities were amplified to a significant degree. His noble phantasm alone makes him immensely powerful, but with this attribute, he was almost invincible. What was the name of that ability? The Numeral of the Saint. Right, it was the Numeral of the Saint. The ability that ties his powers to the sun and is most powerful when the clock strikes noon. There we go. We got Matrix level extra for Gawain. Nasu Nasu. But by hacking the arena and cutting off its light, I was not only able to wound him, but also cripple his ability of his to some degree. All of that is to be done now is how close Saber can get to Leo. I've made it all this way. Just one more. Just one more victory, and then I could get my wish granted by the Holy Grail. The answer that I have sought throughout this fight. Let's speak with Saber before we head out. Okay, it's the same. Yeah, it's the same. I thought you would have had some wise words for us, but we've seen that before! Dang it, Daryl! And your reused dialogue. Uh, we'll read the info after the fight, however. Right. So, let me just make sure I've got everything sorted. I might not have as many supplies, but... Yeah, I don't... <laughs> we need to change that. Uh... Let's get the garments. Now, I'm not sure if I want Scarlet Form Aware or not. Mainly due to the fact that if I have MP, I could uh, technically avoid more damage and dole out more punishment. What do we have in the way of healing items again? We have, you know, let's just try it. I actually kind of want to see if we can get away with spamming skills. What do we have here? You know, we have elixirs and stuff. That is a point. You know what? No, no, no. We'll, we'll be safe and use the other thing. The thing is with Saber, her normal attacks hit real hard quite a few times as well. If Leo wasn't the type to get rid of your buffs, then I would, of course, be using the Celestial Blade plus Scarlet Formal Wear. That'd be a fantastic combination, but Leo can purge our buffs. I've been awaiting your arrival. Are you ready? If it is your wish, I will open the way to the Colosseum. Now please present the final cipher key. Enter the Colosseum. So young master, who will have their wish granted, you or the Skyon of the Hallway family? I will be here waiting for the one who successfully manages to reach the Holy Grail. Let's go. And I have a feeling this is going to be one heck of a toughie. Or maybe one. It's a reason Saber. Well, Saber versus Saber, that's fair, right? <laughs> we'll find out. Why, hello there, Leia. Finally, the battle I've been waiting for. Are you moved by the gravitas of the moment as well? I couldn't wait! Is that so? Then we are in the same mental space, even if we are not equals. You still have something up inside me when we fight. 
I am well aware that as the head of the hallways, I must scour any personal ambition from my heart. But if you feel this connection between us as well, then it's a different story. It means that you and I are bound by a stronger fate than the pill of individual connectivity. <laughs> oh, excuse me, I can't contain my joy. You've gone through a metamorphosis. In the prelims, you were bland, unmistakable from an NPC. But now, you've transformed into a warrior, worthy of arresting my full attention. I'd rather you refer to me as king. It was a long road. Nah, let's be cheeky. What? You have uh, kick a king? Um, quite frankly, you've caught me by surprise. I mingle with people from many walks of life, but this is the first time I've heard that proclaimed to me. Are you aware of what a king is? Naturally! I was just basically here. Yeah. How did it take this long for me to realize you're not a good positive boy? Excuse me, I'm sorry. I don't appreciate you lying to me. But for the first time, I found myself laughing at another's joke. <laughs> um, this feels rather strange. I want to fight you as soon as possible, but I'd also like to speak with you only. I'm grateful that your defeat was reserved for me alone. <laughs> reserved for you? My master has me, for goodness sake. My master hasn't listened to you, or to anyone else. Not to insult your formidable talent, Saber. Or servant, sorry. But you cannot win against me. No, I'll win no matter what. My servant really is fair. Yeah, 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 yeah. No, I'll just go after that. Let's not ruin this moment entirely. You know just what to say to make me anticipate our battle even more fervently. It was definitely worth the wait. With the gnashing of metal, the elevator grinds to a halt. And is it just me? Or this time, did the reverberation last longer and sound heavier than usual? In any case, this is it. On to the final battlefield. Sorry. It's time. I'm aware this is inappropriate, considering the situation, but I have one last thing to say. Thank you for making it this far. Now let's defend our ide ideologies, Seventh Master. And it's here! The final battle! Oh yes! The moment has finally arrived, Dave. Although I'm afraid I'll miss you, I have to keep going. This is it, Gawain. Utilize your sword's full capacity for me. I have waited for those words. My body will be your blade, and I will cut a path to the throne for you. Well then, we've been letting you win so far, but we will no longer pretend you are invincible, because the boy you call Master is far from being a true king. You two are too innocent to win. Are you saying I shouldn't be king? You're mistaken, Saber. I'm already the king. <laughs> so long as you think you are perfect, you'll never realize your flaws, and you'll never be complete. I pity you, helpful here, for you have never known defeat. Having never felt pain, your emotions are fragile and untested. If you were to suffer defeat, you'd be devastated. Laying it down, holy bajolies. Shut your mouth, whore of Babylon. You have no right to slander my master. Such loyalty. This is well and good, but you are a fool. You see only the perfect king. Unless you also support his politics, you're nothing but a fateful dog. What are you saying? That's a knight's duty. A knight is the sword of his lord, and perishes with him at the end of his time. You can't be taking issue of that. I would avoid my being to my master. Any knight who would give less than that has impure motives. Be quiet! Bow your head to all the knights you have besmirched! Honorable as it may be to perish alongside your master, risking your life blindly is suicide. Knight of the Sun, your righteousness prevented you from correcting your master. A fatal mistake. Even if that is true, how could someone who identifies as a king understand any of this? That is where you are mistaken. I have always subjugated myself to beauty. Therefore, no matter who I serve, as long as I stay true to myself, I see nothing wrong. What? You call yourself a king and yet you're willing to serve another? 
That's right, I can see you don't understand. So I will illustrate with my blade. Rainbows shine because they are illuminated by the sun. Perfect king, fateful sword, let us see your limits. It's that! No! I am not expecting this to manage this on my first try. <laughs> Just laying that out. For Chris Gawain, it's hot! gonna do the same thing as before though, right? Let's find out. Where he goes for two buffs, right? Oh! That's damage! I guess we got a lot of it, greedy. I think we just came. Oh, okay! That, that, that's totally a smooth start! Wowzers. Please don't kill me. Okay, so it technically died already. Let's see how this goes. We can recuperate from this still. The thing is, I don't want to get too gung-ho with my mana, but we do have elixirs. So that's something. Okay. This is gonna hurt. Wait, we are actually stunned though, right? So does that mean that he gets a free hat? Oh, he does! Uh-oh. Oh, what the breach of death! Um, and we're forced to heal. We are legitimately forced to heal. Alternatively, there is no alternative. No, there's none. There's none. Dang! That's rough. Does his pattern say the same? Are we gonna get this wrong again? Well, we're gonna get stunned. That much is true. We know that. So we take two free hits. We got that wrong. We got that right. Take that away. It stunts even if we don't guard. Feels bad. Man, this guy's just brute force. And yep. Shame's about right. I was just trying to be conservative with my elixirs. <laughs> I just, you know. Maybe get his pattern right. I probably don't know his pattern. Okay, let's try again. Let's see how this goes. So, bomb stuns us on a guard, I'm gonna presume. What type of buffs do we have again? We obviously don't have a strength buff. We'll bring you back from death, damage inflicted by attack, absorb HP. I think we. You know what? I should probably consider using that. That would probably help a little bit. Uh. Vanish. And attack and see what happens. 
gosh, that was so rough, though. Speaking of rough. But we did get an extra this time. <sighs> Why is this man so powerful? Can we please? Okay. Right. So we got the vanish. And we didn't take... Okay, we didn't take that much more damage. What? No scare. No scare. Oh, that was rough. We did get the stun. Hopefully he guards again so we get another stun. Give me that. Okay. Okay. Let it go as well as I would have liked, but... Okay, let's top up here because I have a feeling what's going to happen. I see if it goes well. Okay. No skill. He was so spam heavy before, though. Run to me, I much? What? What's going on? What's going on? I think that stun's pretty much irrelevant at this point. Right. So we have our extra. Buffing up again. Yes, he is. Um. Let's see if I can get this right. Because he changed up his pattern up there. Okay. Okay, even. Got that one wrong. There we go. Got rid of the buffs. And we got a crit to the face. Uh -oh. Now, I think it's about time we go all out a bit. Ish. Well, let's use... She's a boss in the court because I've yet to see it. Yeah, let's do this. Okay. Because we do have elixirs. We do have elixirs. That's what my mind says. I don't want to bench them, though. But there is going to be some serious damage whenever we have with one of these skills. As long as they ain't a guard. Okay, played it avoid, that was to be expected. It was, about, it was about to happen. Who now is this damage? Damn! Why didn't I pull the big guns up? Sinner! Holy moly, he's pretty much done! You're using it! Balls to it! I, I want him done! I want, I want this to end! <laughs> this particular fight, anywho. Right, so let's go. Just, just, just... No, 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 no. What's on the court? D doesn't matter. That does matter, though. <laughs> I'm saying that misclick would have been huge. Uh, I'm getting a little bit excited, okay? Because at least we're going to get him down into second to chip. I would have preferred the first one, though. But meh. Meh. 
Let's go. Oh, and one more! Marta! Don't you dare guard on me. Never mind. I don't care. It breaks. Dude is done zoned. Yes! We did it! I can't feel my fingers. My arms and legs won't move. There's no strength in them. I don't understand. Even though my heart has been pierced through, it feels like the hole has failed. Astonished, Leom remains unmoving. This must be a truly unbelievable conclusion to him. Yeah, because, you know, he's kind of already won once already. <laughs> While staring at his small hands, Leo's breaths become thin and short. His heart will stop moving soon. He doesn't seem to be trying to escape from the pain, though. Ah, I see. What I couldn't believe was that I'd reached my limit. Leo smiles with his admission. I never thought I'd reached my limit. I wasn't even capable of imagining what defeat was. I didn't think I was flawless. I just had no fear. The way normal people's hearts quiver, I never did. His quiet words are sorrowful, but a smile spreads across Leo's mouth. He's found some happiness, even in the arms of defeat and demise. His joy is something very human and trivial achievement. His body's coloring slowly darkens. I already know what will happen. I've seen this same play scene play out before. The king-to-be will vanish. He'll disappear like the gods have decided he should never have been. This feeling has come over me. It feels the unreasonable and rejects the ir 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 irrational. Four for four times a job. One more time. I want to look next time. These are complex feelings. I don't want to give up. That's a compelling feeling, but all of them are positive. I feel bitterness and grief as well, and I fear meeting death. <laughs> and this must be courage. I had not understood the real meaning of any of these feelings. I am such a fool. Someone like me could have never led the human race. <laughs> Gawain. You knew all along that I liked something necessary to become a true king. Yeah, proper pronunciation as far as I'm concerned, right? <laughs> oh my lord, no. My king, I. Yes, I know, Gawain. Though you know what, what I needed most was to experience defeat, you still helped me win. You gave me your loyalty and risked your life for me. You knew that I would be defeated one day, but you turned into my growth anyway. I left so... Illogically, but thank you from the bottom of my heart. If it wasn't for you, I wouldn't have realized. I would have seen this defeat as a fluke and coldly ignored it. My king, I would have accepted you no matter what defeats you suffered. I am your sword, your knight. Your growth is your own, however. I am honored to have witnessed the growth of a truly honorable king. The seed, no. It's been a while. Man, oh, man. Of those words of praise, Gawain disappears. He makes no excuses and doesn't plead for his life. Of course he doesn't. He gave 100% for Leo. He had no reason to be ashamed. He made you reload. <laughs> After watching Gawain flick around, Leo turns back my way. He is crying. 
I'm, I'm afraid of going cold. This is the most frightening of human emotions. This is despair. I never even knew a basic feeling like this. His voice is bathed in sorrow. I don't know if it's sorrow for his death or the person he was. <laughs> to fate, there was a necessary obstacle on my path to the throne. I can't retreat after coming so far down this path. And now that I know defeat, I can become a complete king. Now, I can't help but thinking of mayflies. There are those insects who gain wings to fly and then die after just a day. There is nothing I can do. It's unfortunate. Goodbye, Leo. And then, Leo disappears, gone without a trace. I'm the only one left, an emptiness that I've never gotten used to wrenches my heart. That was the end though, everything is over now. Or is it? It's really over. Isn't it? Hmm. Yep. And what you're thinking is that there's gonna be more? You're right. There really will be more. That truly wasn't the final bout. Now we get to see his stats, and they were indeed quite high. Right! Well, some reading! Ahoy! Let's go! Before we end off this episode, maybe I could butcher some more words by accident. I was having a wee bit of a tongue twister, okay? <laughs> One of the major knights mentioned in the Arthurian legends, and often thought to be King Arthur's nephew. A knight said to be the equal of Sir Lancelot. Gawain was frequently at odds with Lancelot due to his slaying of both Gawain's brothers. Although pure of heart and loyal beyond question, it was Gawain's all-consuming hatred that not only led him to being stripped of his knighthood, but also led to the downfall of King Arthur himself. Although his hostility inevitably led to his death at the hands of Sir Lancelot, he realized that it was his own lack of virtue that led to Sir Lancelot's betrayal and the defeat of King Arthur at the Battle of Camlan Hill. Up until his death, Sir Gawain was considered a paragon of knighthood, chivalrous, loyal, and gallant. Even as King Arthur became a legend, Gawain was content to stay in the background. During his duty, regardless of whether his efforts were acknowledged or not, in reward for his gallantry and loyalty to Arthur, as well as his eventual forgiveness of Sir Lancelot, Gawain was resurrected as a legendary soul and freed from the sins of his past, has once again reclaimed his role as the Knight of the Sun. The White Knight of the Round Table the White Knight of the Round Table, widely considered to be the equal of King Arthur, by many, and the wielder of the lesser known holy sword, Galantine. Sir Gawain was fiercely loyal to the king, or more accurately, the king's station. Unlike Sir Bedivere, a trusted friend of Arthur, who wished only that he would find peace and contentment, Gawain's only concern was that Arthur maintained the throne of Britain. If King Arthur was seen as the personification of the moon, then Sir Gawain was the harbinger of the sun. He was frequently compared with Arthur, although Gawain himself ignored these comparisons and devoted himself to serving his king to the best of his abilities. Though loyal to the end, his irrational hatred of Sir Lancelot proved to be his and Arthur's undoing. Though Arthur eventually forgave his wayward and nice transgressions, Sir Gawain could not find it within himself to do the same until the very last moments of his life, and only after being stripped of his knighthood, excommunicated from the church, and causing the downfall of his sovereign king. With his dying breath, he swore that if he was ever given a second chance of life, he'd support his king, no matter what. Upon being reincarnated as a servant, Gawain devotes himself completely to the goals of his master, and by doing so, hopes to gain absolution for the sins of his past. Oh, Gawain. But well, there we go. I only slide my words a tad. 
the sound patch reading. Anyway, folks, this is not the end of the playthrough quite yet. So thank you all for watching this episode of Fae Extra. And we'll see you all next time. Ta-ta for now.